What's up guys? Uh, here on this gorgeous Saturday and uh, we're here for another vloggity vlog. <laughs> I've officially decided that whenever I have a guest on, I guess you could say this show, that they'll do the intro now since Courtney did it so well and you did it so well. You'd be like Jay Leno. Be like, yeah, yeah. The mobile Jay Leno, except my chin isn't as big. <laughs> <laughs> car collection, a little bit smaller too. <sighs> Yeah, I have a car collection of one. <laughs> so, Alex, tell the audience, what kind of car do you drive? Right now, I drive a 2006 Subaru STI, and um, that's, that's pretty fun. And in Massachusetts, I have a 1992 Nissan 240SX hatch, and it's turboed. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. So, what brought you to Virginia? The Army. Uh, the I joined Army. the Army in December of 2013 and was shipped out, no, 2012 I joined. And then uh, I actually shipped on June 2013 where I went through training and all that stuff and I got stationed here in Virginia at uh, Fort Lee. And how is Fort Lee? Fort Lee is great. I'm loving my mechanic job. <laughs> and who could have guessed I'd be a mechanic? Yeah, I mean it's a perfect fit. Not only that, the uh where I met you at was nice and close by. Yep, we met at uh, CC's. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is right after my STI got back together because the engine blew up. On the way Long on the way down from Boston, right? Yeah, I actually drove it down from Boston, Mass, and it was like an 800 mile drive. And, and it blew up during that 800 yes. mile, like the worst timing absolutely possible. Yeah. On the bright side, it seems like you have bad luck with the cars since STIs are pretty bulletproof. Or yep. Usually they're usually they're pretty usually. bulletproof. But on the other hand, you have some damn lucky pullovers. <laughs> That's a 911. Isn't that? It kind of, I was gonna say it didn't look too much like a boss. Yeah. There was a lot of. Why, why did he get on my butt just to turn into his neighborhood? Be that guy. He's about that fast life. He's about that super trooper's life. <laughs> the good thing about Alex is that he has a Subaru. But you use it like a Subaru. Yes, I actually use it for the Subaru reasons. That's why it's still on, um, it's actually on Forester suspension. <laughs> so that's why it's so tall. Uh, it's about an inch taller than the STI suspension. And I go through everything. Yeah, you you have no fear. But everywhere we go, you're just like, oh look, traffic, oh look, grass. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a path for Alex. And that's not even in his Subaru, it's in his 242. You're oh, like, yeah. if it's snowing, well, okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drove, uh, literally slammed 240 um, in the winter in Massachusetts, which is a terrible idea, but I mean, hey, it's a lot of fun pushing uh, pushing the snow down the street. It makes drifting a little bit easier, too. I love the paint job you have on it, too. Oh, yeah, it's, like it's a, a, uh, the... a matte green. Uh, I did it after uh, World War II fighter planes, because it's got the big shark mouth the on the shark side. mouth, that's so signature. And it's actually been on the interwebs every now and then, too, yep. right? Didn't, didn't even find out that it was actually well circulated through the internet until I came down to Virginia, <laughs> and somebody actually told me that they have seen my car before. That is awesome. There actually, yeah. there is one, a 300ZX twin turn that's like silver with the mouth it's pretty cool yeah there was a there was one at the Virginia Tech meet with mm -hmm. a shark mouth and it looked good I was like yeah. he got that car for like a steel and he was like well oh, yeah. it made a difference so I put a shark <laughs> mouth on it yeah on the side there's actually uh, the kill count like the the tallies so there's a, a tank with five tallies uh, another plane with three tallies that's it's really pretty, cool it's pretty cool it's funny because you came down here and when we met you were just kind of like in your own little world at the car meet, you're just like yeah. analyzing everybody. And then I was like, so uh, I heard you've never been in a Mustang, let's go for a ride. <laughs> and they were like, I guess it's okay. I knew you for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And you were like, let's go for a ride in the Mustang. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never, never been in one before. He's ne never been in one ever. And this is definitely the one to get in, like a 5.0. Yeah. It's definitely the one to kind of introduce somebody into it. Yeah, it definitely gave me a. How would I even put this? It gave me perspective. It, yeah, definitely a good perspective because I came from a place where it's all import in it, basically. Yes, uh, I only hung out with import guys. I mean, it was like I'm. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. Yeah. I mean, I, I hang out with mostly import guys, but it's because you know stereotypes 90% of the time are true. Yep. You meet cool people too. Look at, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at oh, I'm oh, so oh. I met. I met my my biggest uh, <laughs> YouTube watched. <laughs> So we just came back from the Safari Park vlog. If you haven't seen that, watch it, because 
Kelsey almost gets French kissed by a bison. And big tongue. It's a very big tongue. Big, very big tongue. It's very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good time and uh, pretty good first vlog for you to be in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, was a different experience. But we were going to take a Subaru and that would have been real bad. We would have been rammed and. <laughs> I don't know how well the animals would have liked it, but. They, it would have been bad. Hey, it was dirt road, so I would have had fun. Oh, I know. Like. We want to review his Subaru, but we want to do it like on a dirt road or an off-road kind of deal. Somewhere we can really show where the Subaru show it shines. Off, but because Mustang ain't about that off-road in life. But I did slide in the rain for the first time the other day. That was fun. You starting to be about it. I am starting to be about it. Only on special occasions. <laughs> It's like taking somebody out for an anniversary dinner. It's like, okay, you've done you've done good these past few months, so I'm gonna give you a special treat and uh, do a donut. <laughs> <laughs> do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll, like Peppy from Star Fox. <laughs> How different is Virginia to Massachusetts? Um, the car culture is extremely diverse. It's a lot more accepting as well. I mean, you go up to Massachusetts and. Sorry to say, a lot of the times it's, it's very negative. Like Bias you, and you, you go up to any scene with anything else, but a Honda, a Nissan, a Subaru, you're gonna get hated on. I mean, Mazdas, too, Mazdas are accepted, but it's like you show up with a Mustang, you're almost shunned from. The, I mean, yeah. half of the half of the entire like car community. When you do meet that group of guys, I mean, there's nothing better than that up north. Um, and you you'll go everywhere with them. It's the same like down here. When you yeah. when you meet that good group, you just you're done. You know, you don't. I mean, it's awesome to meet other people, but like, we probably have, okay, there's our our close group right now, yep. but not only that, but we also have our bajillion acquaintances all because of cars. Yep. I can't really think of any other hobby that connects people that way. It's like, oh, hi, my name's David. Your name's Alex. We like cars. Okay, <laughs> here's my hand. Shake it. Okay, we're done. I mean, that's how it kind of went. I was like, hi, I'm David. All right, yeah. I'm Alex. Okay, let's go be car friends. No, uh... Nothing hard about it. Just no, nice because you gotta be about it. That's true. My 240 is very like a, as Ken Block would say, ain't care. <laughs> ain't you really, care. You just can't, you can't care at all about what you're doing. You just have to throw it into the wind and just. Well, that's what's so great about that platform is that you can get them for a steal, and then even if they're all beat up, if they still run, they run. It's like I mean, oh, I mean even if you, fun. even if you do beat it up, you just take a sledgehammer to the inside of the quarter <laughs> panels, just boop, it looks fine again. Problem solved. Is that a Ferrari? I think it's a vet. It's a vet. Oh. It's, a, it's a Z. It got, it got it's me. It's a grand sport. I thought it was a 430. Getting pulled over, I get extremely lucky with that. I've never, I haven't been pulled over in Virginia until last weekend, and I got pulled over last night as well. <laughs> Mostly but, just because you, you're exhaust and all that. And yeah. A big wang. The big, big wang. Big, big wang, wang, little wang. <laughs> got two. Yeah. The 240 um, will be rocket bunnied. And um, oh, that will yes. be gorgeous. Rocket Bunny makes such good kits. If you guys haven't seen them, which I'm sure you guys have, yep. just Google it. It's all you gotta do. It's one of the most in, like intense body kits you yeah. can get. And I'm not even a big body kit person. I mean, everybody was when we were younger. Everybody was. It's it's but, more of a functional body kit. That's the best part about it. That's the best part about Rocket Bunny stuff. Like uh, the FRS and the BRZ is a perfect example. They're the nice wide fender flares, so all that stuff, it makes sense. Yep. But it seems like everybody just slaps on fender flares anymore. It's like, okay, kit. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's been doing kits right is Liberty Walk. Oh. They, I mean, oh. to chop They're up, four, not five, chop eight. up, yeah, not chop up a 458 so much, but just to have the guts to try it out. And they just, they've been experimenting with all kinds of cars lately. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, Liberty Walk came out with another new car. Yeah. Rawwell Belgriff. Yep. Oh. Yep. The They're RWB new. Porsches. Oh. Oh. They just, they just got the first um, RWB in China. Yeah. Oh, it's stunning. They're so great. And uh, but it, it is pretty nuts how when it comes to body, like we said, it's all about function really anymore. It's not the flashy craziness and paint your body like, kit. Lambo doors. Lambo doors. And neon lights. Why don't I have Lambo doors? Oh wait, that's right, I'm in a Mustang. <laughs> Do you remember that meme with the Gallardo? It's like Lambo doors so played out, Lambos don't even have yeah. them. <laughs> yep. The Aventador still does. I like the Koenigsegg doors. Oh. Those are sweet. The one. The like multi directional the multi, something. Uh, I forget hinge. how yep. Yeah, the multi hinge. I think is awesome. It's like all the little things anymore in cars are what counts. Yep. It's like less is more. It's like the freaking chin splitter we just put on. It's yep. like, oh yeah, this is kind of a pain in the butt. 
but to do, but it really sets everything else off, so I guess we'll do. So, on that lovely note, I want to thank every single one of you guys for watching this vlog and vlog. Did you have a good time, vlog. Alex? I had a great time. Awesome. So, you'll see more of Alex, you'll see more of everybody else, so I will see you guys next time, and take it easy.